What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Gunnett and today I bring you guys a little bit of commentary. I know it's been a long time since I've done one of these. It's been two weeks, hasn't it? I did a, you know, a play drop opening, but that was just something I recorded. Just to have something to put up while I was gone. And uh, believe it or not, this is actually my first game on for after like two weeks, I guess. So yeah, I've been playing a lot. I haven't been playing a lot at all. Been home celebrating Christmas, New Year with my family and my girlfriend's family and so on. So, you know, it's been... It's been a little bit of a holiday season for me, uh, like two weeks away from a PS4 controller, oh boy. I can feel the struggle now, like I can't even hit anything to be honest, so. I hit one clip, I don't know if I should show it or not, it's not really that cool. It's on uh, the bridge on Arden Forest. I don't know if that's useful. Because, like, it is, like, Mogwall in my opinion, so a lot of people are, like, not saying it's useful and so on, which I would agree, like, I would say quad is useful in it, unless it's, like, really nice, like a back to back lot, you know, quad head. Uh, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about that. And I, I guess one reason why people are, like, not saying it's that great anymore is because it's overused. People are sick of seeing the same clips over and over again. Uh, which I got bad news for you guys, because that's what this game is basically. Most of the majority of the clips are hit in the same spots. Uh, which is sad, you know, it's just the spawn system being that way. And the maps, so, you know, not much for variety in this game this year. I still love the game, I still think it's a good game to snipe on. It's fun, it's, it keeps me entertained <laughs> while I'm sniping and but, you know. I'm sick of like hitting clips in the same spot over and over again. I had my PC with me, or my laptop, not my PC. I've been, uh, you know, just gaming on it. And the screen is like a little bit smaller than, you know, my monitor. How are you not dead? They nerfed this thing? Yeah. I can hit that guy, but I can hit the guy right in front of me. Cool. Oh, okay. I was about to shoot, but I was like, nah, there's nobody that's gonna come. I might just reload, you know, but yeah. We're at 51, we're getting there to 10th prestige now. Uh, so, it's gonna be smooth. Don't have to worry about leveling up. Please. No! Come on, dude. So we're here in London Docks, I think this is going to be one of my favorite maps, you know, just because how it's laid out and I just completely missed that quad feed. Okay, that's fine, you know. I just like this map a little bit better, just because it's actually one map that's fairly normal to hit in the mid map, you know. It's not too heavily on, you know, the spawns, like, you got this spawns of course, which is like, completely superior to this. Oh boy, don't kill me. So... Yeah, you know, it's mainly 50-50 for me sometimes, which is okay, like, I don't, I don't expect to always get the opportunities, which kind of then would take away a lot of the fun with the game, I guess. Because it's not fun when things is too, when stuff is too easy. That's kind of the reason why I quit red gunning on Modern Warfare Mastered, keep that in mind, it was Modern Warfare Mastered, you know, you got the M16 and AK. It wasn't too hard doing red gun. This game I can sort of respect it a little bit more just because it's really inconsistent when you use a red gun. They haven't fought like the gun balancing and you know so on. It's just thrown at the window in this game. So that's something to keep in mind. Oh boy, come on. I could've... I don't know. I, I, I probably wouldn't have been something. I don't know. Fuck you. Ooh, that was a nice shot. Getting the shot on a little bit. I still need to hit shot like that. Like, sometimes I just can't hit people. 
that's like aiming at me. I don't know, I get stressed out, I get panicked, I guess. I'm not the guy to, to like decide. Like, as I said, like, you know, Arden Bridge is not that usable, sometimes I would say. I'm not the guy to decide that, I'm just saying that I personally won't use like a quad on that map, just personally because it's not that impressive. Unless it's like a quad headshot or something, you know. A little bit more fun to play, I guess you can say. Which is good, you know. More motivation to play the game. More more content, more clips, you know, just all that sort of stuff. So we have an Arden now and I said that, you know, the bitch clips isn't really that useful, but I'm mainly not using too many of them. I might use like one or two, but it won't be like my my go-to clips. That you know, that will be a lot. I could actually hit something there if I didn't miss, but you know. Game clip. Uh, so it's really not that impressive, really. So, you know, that's the reason why I'm not using that Pi one, and I don't even think I have it. If I have it, I'd probably try to dig it up and, you know, I can slow mo it to make it look better. I don't know. Uh, but, like, just hitting regular quads on that spot isn't too. It isn't too impressive. If you hit a triple, it might be, you know, it depends. Like, I don't know. As you know, my standards, I'm not gonna use too many of those clips. And like I stated my reasons and so on. I see bigger teams are using them and bigger snipers. Like I'm a small sniper, you know, I don't I shouldn't go for standards because I barely have 200 subscribers. I don't even have 200 subscribers. So standards shouldn't really apply too much to me because I'm not in a big team. I'm not, you know, representing a big team. I'm, you know, and I'm not. Oh boy, a lot of people over here. Like I said, like, I'm not in a particularly big team. I'm not known for sniping. Like I have a couple of friends, I have a couple of subscribers. You know, not all of my subscribers are even watching my videos. So standard wise shouldn't apply to me, but I think like, I don't want to do, like I know I'm doing exactly the same that like every other like sniper on youtube is doing they're going for clips you know they're using that in that clip but i'm trying to stand out a little bit more just you know so people can say yeah that guy ink he doesn't do that and he doesn't do that but he does this and this you know like i i have like a lot of my inspiration towards doing youtube is towards sniping and call of duty and so on and i this is like yeah i know this is the way that i can make content and all that good stuff but for example you have uh like take Blue, Face Blue for example, he just goes for clips, you know, he makes music on his own, you know, that's one thing that he does by himself. Then you have like Face Jeffs, who plays like a lot of other games and you have a lot of comedy, like, he's just overall a funny guy, you know. That's what they do different about their content, like I'm not a particularly funny guy, I'm not particularly like, I don't have an awesome personality. I know a lot of my friends that do YouTube has, you know, if you want to watch somebody's for their personality you know there's a lot of other youtubers that is like 10 times better than me to do that so oh that gonna suck he just got out of a spawn i feel for him though because i always get dropped when i get out of a spawn sometimes and it's annoying you know it's sad and annoying and it's not particularly fun like at all and I just got ambushed by a guy. Okay, fine. Oh, there should have been a collat lineup back there. That would have been good. This guy's actually hyper stitch. But he doesn't know what he's doing though, apparently. Like, it doesn't require much skill to just sit on that spot where I'm sitting right now and just, you know, aim. Like, of course, you still gotta hit the clips and. You know, if you want to fire on the Springfield, you got to land on a class. So I'm not saying it's not skill at all, but I'm saying it would be a lot more impressive if I just hit like a 5-1, you know, down this lane, for example. Because it would have been a little bit more random, and not just, you know, pure camping. Not camping, but, you know, standing in one spot over and over again. I would say halfway decent game, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, please leave a like and subscribe. 
as always helps me out and I appreciate it. And it just keeps motivating me to do what I do. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. And uh, yeah, have a good one. Bye bye. Take care.